Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and this is my first, <laughs> as you can tell, my first bee house. Um, I'm going to be putting out my, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to be putting out my uh, leaf cutter bees, <coughs> and I want to build my own, <coughs> my own house, my own bee house. And this is what I got going so far. Um, as you can see, there's some things I would do different, obviously. Um, well, I'll, I'll basically take you guys in for a better look, but just wanted to show it to you guys. I made it all out of scrap wood. Um, so I'll, I'll give you a better look right now. Hold on one second. Let me get to that. <laughs> all right, so, well, one thing I need to do differently on it, or I need to add to it, actually. See that when I was doing the nails the uh, nail went right through it I got to trim that off obviously with a little file um, but anyways um, I had to actually use um, or I use scrap wood and the uh, wood I actually use is the tongue and groove uh, which is kind of neat because uh, rain water will actually wherever it finds a seam like this it'll just run straight down um, and then it made for the bottom looks pretty nice uh, as well and I do have it a little bit off the ground so um, I just think less contact with the ground is better um, and then I have like kind of like the Chinese house style going on I was gonna to do two 45s but then I thought you know what let me see how it looks like this now the one thing I would definitely do differently is if you guys look right here that these boards here are these little pieces of wood I would I would basically make those a little longer and then cut them at a 45 as well. That way they would have sat flush with the bottom lip of this. So, um, but it has a little spot where I can put the little nest box or uh, the little boxes that they're gonna come out of. And then um, I'm also gonna put some down here. Now I only made it fit for uh, two of these and then one on the top turned sideways, but it's, it's mainly just for two of these. Uh, and these are for the leaf cutter bees. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, definitely w want to change this. This just looks sloppy. You know, I'm not a woodworker though. This is the first uh, bee house I've ever made in my whole life. And uh, I have to say, my wife, she's really good at measurements and all that stuff, and I'm not. She's just, she's totally awesome. So, so yeah, what do you guys think? So. I mean, other than that, see, imagine if I was holding it like that, I'm like, eh, and then pop, right through my thumb. So, completely made of scrap lumber. So, the, uh, like I said, most of these boards, they look really nice, too. And these are the tongue and groove boards. And then, um, this board right here, are these boards, these and this bottom here, these are actually, um, what do you call it? They're actually, uh plywood or not 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 plywood pallet pallet wood so untreated I was sure of it so um, so yeah I mean worked out really nice so anyways I'm getting ready for my leaf cutter bees I do have some from last year as you guys saw in my previous one of my previous videos and uh, I got crown bees sending me more so want to try and really get these things established so uh, Leaf cutters are a little harder but uh, to establish, but now they have um, their uh, invited bee pheromone for um, for leaf cutters. So we'll see how it works out. So, anyways, <laughs> I know I keep repeating myself, but I thought I, I just wanted to share this with you guys. So that was from another project. <laughs> so anyway, God bless you guys, and like always, you know what's up. Peace. <laughs>